Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make an ambulance. For all of your city building needs. I think it's worth mentioning that the ambulance is part of a much larger set of tutorials, a set of four that begins with the hospital, featuring interior, and also this pretty cool helicopter. So whether you want to make the ambulance now, or when you've built the hospital, I would highly recommend checking out the card system, the description below, and the top of the comment section for all of my hospital related tutorials. You'll easily be able to find them there. And also, if you wouldn't mind, please do remember to hit that like button, as it really helps me and the channel out very, very much. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, make sure those notifications are turned on. And, well, that's... That's actually it, we can probably get started. This is the amount of space required to make your ambulance. A 7x3 block area as represented by the white concrete grid on the ground, which you are more than welcome to make if you plan on dotting these around your city or town or world. I'd always recommend making the grid. Here are all of the materials that you will need to make your ambulance. Please do make sure that you have access to all of those materials and enough of them as well. So now that we have all of our materials, we can get started. If you've made the grid, you want to come to either the front or the back of it, pick both of the corners and move one block back, place a black concrete extending one block back from both of those corners, and do the same on the back. So the back corners here, one row inwards, black concretes. These black concretes are spaced two rows apart from each other, left to right, and front to back they are spaced three rows apart, for those of you that haven't made the grid. We want to connect all of these together using smooth stone slabs. Another viable option is andensite. I don't know why I didn't choose to use that, but there must have been a good reason probably at the time. So, now that it is all joined together, we want to extend a row of smooth stone slab out of the front, and we want to extend a row of smooth stone slab out of the back, just like this. On the front of the ambulance, we want to have sideways facing smooth quartz stairs, blast furnaces in between, ladders in front of the blast furnaces, we then want to place smooth quartz blocks extending backwards from these stairs. We want to have two of these, just like this. Behind the blast furnaces, we're going to place smooth quartz. And on top of the row of smooth quartz that we have created, we want to place glass. Then on the back pair of block of quartz, we want to extend upwards by two. One, two, and one, two. Two. And to create a windshield, we want to use smooth quartz slabs, like this, on top of the glass. And we will leave it at that. We don't want to extend it a little... Yeah, we don't want to extend it another row because otherwise it might look a little bit goofy. Will it? Yeah, I think it will. We'll leave it like that. We then want to... It might actually be easier for us to leave the top open for now, so that's exactly what we'll do. And we want to take the top rows of these smooth quartz, we want to place smooth quartz behind them. Red concrete behind that. Then two smooth quartz, one, two, one, two. Join back down to the back corners of the ambulance. We want to place upside down smooth quartz stairs joining the back of the ambulance together with a row of smooth quartz block on the right side specifically. We want to extend the red concretes down by one, two, take the middle block, extend right and left, and we want to do this on the other side also, so one, two, right and left. We can then fill the remaining area of the ambulance in, on the sides anyway, using block of quartz like this, or smooth block of quartz. Then we want to raise up the back portion of the ambulance. We want to raise it. We basically want to raise the end three rows, like one, two, three here, coming to the red concrete. So the end three rows, just like this. Perfect. And I'm pretty happy with that. I'm realizing we didn't want to place upside down smooth quartz stairs, by the way. We wanted to place regular smooth quartz stairs. My bad. So now that we have done that, we are going to add some more details to the ambulance. So we're going to use 
white carpet, redstone repeater, item frame, blue concrete, polished andesite stairs, lever, tripwire hook, button, and redstone torch. So, the white carpet is basically just to cover up the top of the blast furnaces. The item frames cover multiple uses, so we'll be using the item frames for headlights. We'll be using it for lights up at the top of the build. So, you know here, where we have the lip of quartz, we want to place item frames and blue concrete inside. Those are basically like sirens, extra lights. The repeaters are also meant to emulate lights. The redstone torches are also meant to emulate lights. These are to be placed on the sides of the repeater blocks. Well, just below them. We also want to add a stair that looks like a seat, so how one would actually drive the ambulance. And th what's tricky is, I, well, you can either do this, right? So I'll give you two options. Number one, we can install a lever, which is basically just like that's the gear stick. Or, I mean, you could have two of them. Later on, when we fill the top of this in, I kind of wanted to add a button which would, air quotes with me guys, which would activate the sirens. I think they'd actually look pretty cool in the window, so we'll sort that out a little bit later on when we've messed about with the roof a bit. The tripwire hooks are meant to look like door handles. These are to be placed um, above, the, above the wheels, actually, my bad, like here. Uh, the buttons are for the actual wheels themselves. And then I'd want to say that we have pretty much done with these materials, unless, of course... No, no, we haven't. My bad. So, on the back of the build, we want to place item frames on the, like, bottom two rows of quartz on the left and right side. We want to place a button here to the right of where the door is going to be and also, of course, on the opposite side as well. So you can get in and out. Believe it. This is like we're living in the future. You get in and out. That's insane. So what we then want to do is we then want to grab... We, we need a few... Okay, so we're going to need the quartz again. We're going to need a door, white bed, light grey concrete. We'll need a potion of healing. <laughs> Do you see what I did there? <laughs> Genius. Anyway, so inside the ambulance, as one might expect, we want to have a bed. So that'll be here. Um, there's not really... A, I want a divider between the, like, the ambulance and, like, the, the patient. So I reckon I'm just going to fill in the front part of the ambulance just all the way up here with light grey concrete or alternatively you could use like smooth quartz block. It, it doesn't really matter what you use, but we're probably going to want to shake it up and like grab a blue concrete instead and place this next to the bed. Item frame, potion of healing. <laughs> Again, genius. So now that we've done that, we can put a door here. Oh, we'll also need the red concrete. There's a lot going on with this ambulance, ladies and gentlemen. So we want to place red concrete for the lights on the back of the ambulance. And now that we have done that, we have to install lights for the headlights, of course. And then we have to talk about the top of the... Oh, we'll destroy. My bad. I'll tell you what we could do. Okay, what we could do to fill the top of the ambulance in like this, I'm trying to think of how it might look a little bit interesting from the inside, is we could use upside down stairs, and then that way, I mean, I don't know if this will look goofy or not. Ah, that looks fine. So, upside down stairs to fill in that top portion of the ambulance there. We'll obviously need quartz block in front of that. And then, like I said, I sort of want to have a lever or a lever. Probably lever, who knows. Pronounce it how you want, I'm, I, you know, whatever. So, that's going to be placed here. Looks a bit weird having two of them, though, so unless we have, like, a double seat, but anyway, I mean, you can't even see the lower one, but I do like the idea of seeing the lever there, and then it looks as though that that's, like, the activation of the lights, and once you've done that, ladies and gentlemen, believe it or not, I don't believe it, we are done! So this is what your ambulance will look like once it has been 100% fully completed, ladies and gentlemen. I do hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. I've really enjoyed designing and making this, and of course, it makes an excellent addition to the hospital. If you have enjoyed the tutorial, please do remember to hit that like button, as it really helps the channel out very, very much. If you're new around here, please do consider subscribing and clicking that little bell next to the subscription button. That'll ensure that you get all my videos sent directly to your sub box. Very difficult to say fast, but I think I nailed that. And if you do want to make 
anything else relating to the hospital, check out the card system, description below, and the top of the comment section for more. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all very much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!